Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is total distance traveled. So this is a descriptive problem and a basic math problem. You can easily do it using math operations if you carefully understand the description. So let's read the description. A truck has two fuel tanks. You are given two integers, main tank representing the fuel present in the main tank and additional tank representing the fuel present in the additional tank in liters and the truck mileage is 10 kilometers per liter whenever 5 liters of fuel get used in the main tank if the additional tank has at least 1 liters of fuel 1 liters of fuel will be transferred from the additional tank to the main tank and our task is to return the maximum distance you can travel so let's take the scenario and see how this problem is being solved so main tank is 5 and additional tank is 10. So first we spend 5, kilo, 5 liters of fuel from the main tank. Since we spent 5 liters of fuel, you get 1 liter from the additional tank. So 5 minus 5, you get 0. And this 1 additional tank liter will be added. So you have 1 liter. So using this 5 liters, you travel 50 kilometers. Because 1 liter, you can travel 10 kilometers. And now you have 1 additional tank, right? So with this one additional liter of uh, fuel can travel 10 kilometers. So total you have 60 travel 60 kilometers. So that is the output. So this is a math problem and we have to convert this logic into code. So let's see how this can be done in code. So the inputs are main tank is 5 and additional tank is 10. I've taken the same input as example 1. So we declare the variable max distance representing the total distance and that will be our output because the return type is an integer. Now we have to check if the main tank has at least 5 liters of fuel. So using a while loop, this while loop will run until this condition satisfies. Because every 5 liters you add one additional liter from the additional tank. So we use this condition that every 5 liters you have to do some operation. So this is our base condition. This will happen until additional tank is greater than 0. So it makes sense, right? If there is something in the additional tank only, the main tank will be able to borrow. So this while loop will run until this condition satisfies. So as I said, every 5 liters inside the main tank, you add 50 kilometers to the maximum distance. So each liter of fuel, you get 10 kilometers. Since we are doing this operation for 5 liters, you get 50 kilometers. So we are adding this 50 directly to the max distance. And outside this while loop, you can calculate the uh, liters borrowed from the additional tank that computation will be done outside the while loop and now we have to decrease the liters present inside the main tank right so we are decrementing main tank until you are able to borrow from the additional tank you add one liter to the main tank and also you have to decrement the additional tank so each liter you borrow in each while loop you do minus one from the additional tank and outside this while loop if there is some value present less than five inside the main tank so main tank will you'll be left with one liter and additional tank you'll have nine so 50 already travel additional tank is one right so one into ten is equal to ten so this ten you add to the already computed value so you do plus equal to here so 50 plus this additional value of 10 is equal to 60 so 60 will be the max distance and that will be the out. So the time complexity of this approach is O of 1. And the space complexity is also O of 1 because you are not using any external data structure to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.